Loading scenario 127 in Dynamic Simulation Dome 314. Now, we shall see how impressive you truly are. What's up gamers, welcome to another episode of Jolster Gaming and this time I'm going to be reviewing Titanfall 2. Well, it's not going to be like a complete, complete review because I just barely started playing this game. But I wanted to this, do this short review because this game is actually more than I was expecting. I, I'm having tons of fun playing and especially because uh, this game is the... Uh, the campaign is the additional that they have done here uh, the first Titanfall didn't have a campaign and a lot of people were complaining about it because it just didn't have a complaint it was just everything was multiplayer everything was online and this this Titanfall 2 now they brought in a campaign so uh, yeah uh, so far the campaign it's amazing I can tell you it's amazing because uh, it brings together the story of Jack Cooper, who is uh, a rifleman, like a, yeah, he's not even a pilot, he's not even a captain, and basically it's pretty much the relationship between this uh, this pilot and his uh, and his Titan, which is BT-7274, or something like that. Well, anyways, I don't want to spoil the whole story about it, uh, how the story is. Mostly I want to talk about, you know, the level design, the uh, the gameplay. I mean, the gameplay alone is just amazing. I can't believe how smooth this is. It's so, so easy to go through the walls, go through everything. And there's also epic bosses like this one, epic fights like this one with Ash. I'm going, I'm going to leave you right now to, so you can enjoy this epic fight, guys. Hold on just a second. Let us begin. Let us begin. First floor ready. Ah, she's a badass. She has this... this badass. Tell us if people have been dead or something. Your mistakes will be your undoing. Perfect. Excessive damage. Warning. Warning. This shit. To collect these bullets and then boom, shoot them back. Shoot them back. Oh yeah, in order for you to give health on your Titan, you have to get these collect batteries. You just just walk over them. There are not that many in there, so you gotta watch out. Oh, look at this! Ah! Yes! I get drunk kit! I love it, man. It, this game is so sick. Now, like I said, uh, the level design is awesome. There's some things that you have to get uh, while being on pilot. And there's also different ways to approach your enemies. Like in this section right here, I'm approaching my enemies via pilot. I'm just going, you know, as a pilot. Turn stealth mode, punch them. Oh yeah, the punches are they feel so good once you punch one of them. Now I'm going in there with my Titan. Oh, and another thing, once you get your Titan while you're playing the, the campaign, you start getting uh, this different kind of weapons in there. This type of Titan is the Scorch, so you get all the Scorch equipment. Now I'm approaching with the, uh, I think this is called the Expedition. Look at this. Those tracking rockets are just freaking insane. And like I said, the gameplay here in the campaign is different to other campaigns because uh, the level designed, you have to go through walls, you have to 
pretty much like find different items or find your way out through walls like climbing and uh, wall running and also while you're here there are some collectibles that you can find in this area I found this this helmet actually they're pretty much helmets that's all you have to find through these different uh, levels some of these helmets are easy to collect like this one I just found and I just saw it right there some of them are uh, super easy to collect like like this one but the other ones there are some other ones they're kind of uh, tricky for example in this this occasion right here I use my pilot to get into this higher area and while I was here as you can see I'm trying to get into that section over there but I can't I feel like I'm kind of stuck but you just have to keep on jumping keep on trying sometimes it feels like you're gonna drop you're gonna fall down but just just keep on keep on jumping and uh, I finally got to this helmet you see so the level design is so different there's so many different ways that you can go some areas like in this one uh, I have no idea where to go so there's a ghost kind of thing that is a, sort of like a GPS it kind of tells you where you have to go in um, in some sections not everywhere but uh, once you activate it it kind of shows you the way and then you just follow it if you want to and in this part right here I found another helmet you see I wasn't even trying to look for those helmets but some of them you just find them just gotta keep an eye on them and you'll find them eventually so yeah guys I just wanted to say that this game is a go you should try it it's definitely one of the one of the best campaigns I've played so far uh, you know it's the makers of uh, the first Call of Duties Infinite Infinite uh, Ward is the the guy who made this actually invented Infinite Ward and made the first the badass Call of Duties out there so you can expect very very high quality from this game so that's it for me guys uh, I just this is gonna be a short video I'm going to be playing more of the multiplayer and I'll, I'll be posting some of that don't forget to check out my Twitch account it's uh, Jolster G and also check out uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and if you already did thank you so much thank you so much for all the support and I'll be seeing you soon thank you guys Jolster out Perhaps I'll have to renegotiate my contract. contract.